What is going on? I'm Zedmont. Today is the first real day of fall here. We are past Thanksgiving in Canada and uh, big, big thank lots and lots of things to be thankful for over the weekend. So uh, you guys are definitely one of it. So a little bit of a in the feels kind of moment there for you. Oops. We're going to throw code Zedmont into the box there. Um, I the worships has drastically, drastically, drastically changed over the weekend. I wanted to bring you guys quickly up to date. I'm sure you guys are well, well, well aware. And if you're not, then hopefully I can help you out a little bit. We're going to show all three of my accounts yet again. This one right here uh, is done. This account is completely and utterly done. So if we have a look here, uh, this account was in early to mid 20 that's, that's not even close to mid quarter 20s first quarter of 20s uh it's not gonna make it into diamond this season unless i get an absolute miracle the four engine room level by the way this account is engine room locked we are stuck at the four engine room level uh not gonna get the admiral's key i've got absolutely everything unlocked except for zookas every single thing that i possibly can have unlocked and that's kind of strange because I was complaining about the number of keys available, but there are 13 days left and I've got everything you can possibly have. I'm probably going to go to Zookas and try some like heavy Zooka with max smoke attacks or something like that. Because if you look at this log, winning, winning, no one is getting an engine room. Things have gotten to the point where everyone has all of the max rocket launchers and the max shock launchers and either a laser or a grappler depending. Laser probably a better choice as people start to go towards heavy Zooka. But um, it's a gong show and it's kind of like that two engine room level where you lose all of your troops every single stinking attack. And so there's not a lot that we can do at this point. So I am going to try to keep grinding, but I am confident that my chests are going to get to four out of four very, 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 very soon because it just isn't sustainable at this point. There's just not enough troops available for me. And so uh, the one thing that I've found that is doable, that is keeping me to maybe possibly have a chance at getting engine rooms is dropping my heavies very, very late. Also, do not click on Kavan's second wind until you've lost at least five heavies. I did it way too early there. If Kavan goes left, which he must, he should, should stay, I was gonna say if he goes right, but thankfully. Um, so dropping the heavies very, like way later than you ever would have imagined. Like see how late those heavies on the left are coming? That is the only chance that I have found of having any possibility of getting an one engine room, four engine rooms, 12 engine rooms. Doesn't really matter. Um, you need to have those heavies coming late because they are just getting absolutely, absolutely eaten up. And the fact that I can now, before you couldn't even throw medkits. If you threw a medkit, you didn't get that last second wind in time, which meant that you just couldn't get your troops onto the engine room. Need some heavies out front to distract those shock launchers. Need Kavan not to go so close that he dies. We might have a chance here. We're going to be very, very close, but it all comes down to whether or not Kavan dies. We need one more second wind right there. Come on, Kavan. Don't die on me. I probably should throw a med kit, but I think we're going to be okay. And this is all because we dropped those last batch of heavies so 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 late that we might have a chance at getting a couple of these shock launchers down but still like they've still got three shock launchers alive we're gonna throw a smoke hoping that i mean we got one engine room we've already won our opponent retreated that is the state of things and if you're at the five engine room level you know you've got that extra troop health which is making drastic 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 differences um, it is a bloodbath though, like an absolute, absolute bloodbath. People at six engine rooms now have heavy choppas. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Yay, we're back into 20. Took us how many battles to get an engine room? None there, none there, one, none there, none. Like it's just, it's that time of season. So this is the time of season where I would love Supercell to put a sail on that Admiral's Key. 
maybe in a couple days, once people start getting a little bit more frustrated, throw a sale on that Admiral's Key. Because if we have a look in the shop over here, um, in the shop, the Admiral's Key is four bucks. Not a ton, but the fact that it's more than the extra builder kind of irks me a little bit. Ad extra builder does so, so much to your base, and uh, getting the extra builder likely is going to save you time and energy and frustration over the long term, whereas the Admiral's Key is so, so fleeting. Jumping in to this account. Speaking of ridiculous, this is the exact opposite of ridiculous. Let's have a look at this win log. Uh, people are crushing my base. Like 258, 257. That person gave me the win. Three minutes, five seconds. Like, basically... My base, people just walk through it. The people who try and be smart on against this base are the only ones that I beat. The ones that bring rocket choppers and try and like weave their way through it. If you literally just drop eight boats of bombardiers, you're going to beat me. Like there's nothing on this base that stops you. And you'll get like a three minute and eight second time. So we're going to try a quickly showing you my tech tree on this one. Absolutely nothing off the main path except for flares like just going the absolute skinniest most naked path don't even have those extra shock launchers which because i don't even have shock launchers and then cruising along you'll see once you get to six engine rooms the next two unlocks are super exciting you get cryoneers and medics whoop de doo um so that is what I'm going for right now, is getting those medics, but then we get the troop damage, then we get the heavy choppers. So, um, we are going to show you approximately how quickly I can get beaten on this account. So, the my next account I'm going to show you is the one that's doing well. These other two are just floundering. They're just stuck. They are in the void. I was going to say, I was gonna try to make an ocean reference, but um, my brain... It's been a long weekend. It is the Tuesday after a long weekend, and I at least get a little bit of time for the finding opponents to find someone so my brain can catch up. Let's just have a little sip of coffee while we wait. Being very careful not to make sipping sounds. I know that. Oh, look at this! A three engine room base. This is just magical. And now, uh, 30,000. I think that means I need... Five artillery? I really don't know. I should have some sort of clue. I am probably going to utterly and completely botch this. I have not seen a three-engine room base in months, weeks, days, years, some sort of time frame that is more than not much. We're going to throw a couple smokes out here, um, and then I'm going to throw a shock about there. And then maybe we'll just flare onto there. Just trying our darndest to get all of our troops to blow something up because, my goodness, this is ridiculous. And then we'll just throw all of our artillery over here, maybe. Terrible, terrible idea. This is not going well. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, we're going to lose. I am somewhat confident we are going to lose because I did zero math, zero planning, zero thinking. The only way we can possibly pull this off is if we get... I think I'm going to need... Let's throw some critters over here and just hope, because this is full... Oh, I'm leaving this in. I, at this point, should be... Come on, let's throw... I should be, at this point, deleting this portion of the video and just falling down in shame. But we are going to leave it in, because my... Goodness gracious, this is a complete and utter failure on my part. We need one more gunboat energy. We are not going to get it. I am going to retreat and we are going to lose. I feel like I'm delirious at this moment. That was amazing. Um, don't do that. that <laughs> I can't even believe that just happened. That was amazing. We're leaving that in there. Uh, hopefully that at least makes you feel better about your warship season because that kind of sums up this account. Um, this account, I am clinging to gold because I need all of those extra keys that are sitting there 
One, two, three, four, five. Now, I don't have all of the tools, unfortunately. I don't have my GBE nodes maxed. I don't have... She, I wonder if I have any tokens I could do that with. So, um, I am going to get into that back corner and see... I'm going to go a little bit slow and just let my heavies get out front because that front cannon's going to be a little bit of a pain unless... And I know that there are people out there doing ridiculous rocket chopper hits. I have dirty, dirty, dirty five engine room base on my other account, and I am getting crushed by ridiculously skilled attacks, such as Mr. Orion yesterday against his six engine room base. I pulled off a pretty good hit. I pulled off a two minute, 37 second hit, and he pulled off a two minute, 43 hit against me. So not super awesome, but there are people who are good at rocket choppers, and I just don't happen to be one of them. So I'm going to have to keep throwing shocks out here. Probably should be flaring things at this point. But um, my <clears throat> most of my focus has not been on this base, as you can clearly, clearly tell by the fact that my attacks with this <clears throat> strategy, as my voice is just go re like abandoning me, um, are not going terribly, terribly, terribly well. So we should be able to get all of these engine rooms down, maybe. Uh, critters were the... Actually, that's not that's another thing. One thing that I did go off the path for was critters, and I feel like because these bases are so clumped, I'm just not getting nearly as much value for them as I should be, and that's probably just my lack of skill. So that's this account. Um, <clears throat> I've been beaten by tanks in this account. I've been beaten... Like, I, you just have to rush so much that it's not possible. The win wins that I've had have been pitiful, and I... This is kind of... The fact that I'm leaving this crap in here, doing one more attack, just shows, like, I've basically abandoned this account, and I'm just doing it because I want to get heavy choppers, cause, or, and or seekers, and I feel like that might be the only thing that saves this account. Um, we are going to drop our heavies. I realize that dropping heavies is a bit of a noob maneuver, because... I probably don't need them, but I am just done at this point. We are just going to keep dropping troops. I am going to keep on farming some gunboat energy because my opponent's going to beat us regardless. I mean, they have more buildings for us to deal with, and so I just can't keep up with these peoples. Let's get on to there, just trying to stay ahead of all of the damage. I think if I flare into this neighborhood, should be able to sneak past that cannon. Come on, dudes. Getting past that machine gun as well, and then onto that engine room, just trying our darndest to keep on moving. Let's throw that there, get a shock onto there. Maybe, just maybe, have a chance to win? Come on, dudes. Let's go. Get going. Get onto that final engine room, throwing all of our artilleries. Can we pull out a win with an amazing hit? 257 is not an amazing hit, but we did okay. Can we salvage some form of awesomeness against a... We did! Oh, gosh. We did it. Halla. Hallelujah. I am thankful for that just to bring the Thanksgiving thing back in. I realize Thanksgiving's in Canada is in a weird time, but I prefer it, to be completely honest. Um, Canada, Thanksgiving, just gives a nice break between th huge feasts, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And it feels like fall. Like, right now, it feels like fall. Like, we walked out, went, looked for spawning salmon and all that stuff. This account, this account, this account was in the global top 500 yesterday or so was sitting up at around, uh, where was I? I was at 31 out of 100 on rank 22. I was somewhere in the Canadian leaderboard somewhere, uh, have fallen, fallen down to 20. I think I was like 14 yesterday or something like that. Look at that. I'm right above panties. I uh, used panties base. I don't know if it's this base or a different base, but uh, look at Orion. Orion just killing it. Commander J Doom also killing it. Who's up the top there. Oh, Alex Yu. Alex Zhu. Shu. Um, don't know that name, but legendary. 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 Wow. Um, this account was doing very, very, very well until all of the people with rocket launchers caught up. So, quick review of where I am at on this tech tree. 
I've got all the defenses except for those extra uh, flamethrowers and or sniper towers. I don't have rocket launchers or shock mines or smoke. So that's an expensive path back to rocket launchers. So at this point, I'm leaning heavily towards going into six engine rooms, going in down and getting that building health might also work, um, but knowing full well that heavy choppers are just crushing five engine room bases, like absolutely, absolutely crushing them. So need to keep that in mind as well. Um, I typically would park at this point, but there's 13 days left and I just it seems too premature to do that so uh, we're gonna see how it goes now when I face six engine room bases I tend to go with two boats of heavies uh, six boats of bombardiers because you don't need that many heavies against fours and fives I'm going either with three or four depending on what the opponent puts up also if someone uh, has a five engine room base without rocket launchers um, also going to and but, oh, I hate... These attacks are just so, so, so stressful. We're going to have to see just what the heck we can do here. We're going to get Kavon dropped way earlier than I normally would. And that makes it way more likely that he's going to hit a boom mine. Because you know that's exactly what Kavon likes to do. On these kind of bases, I like to get the heck out of dodge and just head over to that right hand side fairly 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 early on but of course i need to get kavan not to hit a boom mine so we're gonna head over to that right hand side trying to change the angles a tiny 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 bit and then we're gonna go one two three four and wait and wait and wait to get rid of that gosh darned um, grappler because grapplers and I just don't get along so I have used the majority of my gunboat energy you saw I used my gunboat energy on those mines which was not super duper smart that is just me having a ha Thanksgiving hangover too much food on the weekend not making good choices now I need to save desperately for another second wind, which didn't come out, and Kavan is going to get shot in the face, and all of my gunboat energy is going to be absolutely, absolutely wasted. So, um, not even going to get one engine room, I don't think, unless that left-hand side bombardier can shield us just enough, and it's not going to happen. So, that was a completely crap attack. I wasted my gunboat energy, and then didn't get... Ugh. Ugh. That, w that is just going to... That that was probably the worst attack of my life, if not for the fact that... Whew. Well, would you look at that? Orion's hit is still in my log. Might as well show you that so you can see what a good rocket chopper hit looks like. Coming up, getting those front bits of gunboat. Look at how stupid that is. Free, 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 free. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, so using that GBE to get rid of making a nice little hole for himself... I just assumed he was rushing straight up. Okay, so now he's going to come in here, getting the cannon. You can hit cannons without the... As long as you have the delay, you can clear them. So smart, smart hits all around here. And remember how I said my critters were no good because it was too clumped? Well, guess what? Not so clumped anymore, is it? So just absolutely crushing my base with a little bit of smartness. So... Man, all of that clumping gone, and now he is just absolutely obliterating my base. That front stuff, kind of almost need to change that up a little bit. Didn't even think about the fact that it was all free GBE for him, so crushed. Crushed, crushed, crushed. Speaking of crushed, opponent got all of the engine rooms. Uh, this is kind of a... If you don't take anything else away from this, take away the fact that you probably shouldn't do a YouTube video after a long weekend where you haven't attacked on any of your accounts because you're going to do poorly on all of them. So I wanted to do an early video for you guys just so I could say, hey, let's collect the chests together and wasn't a great idea. This person does not have rocket launchers. Thank goodness. It scares me a little bit. Maybe they're going to come in with rocket choppers and crush me. But at the same time, I think we are relatively, relatively safe. I'm going to go something like this we're gonna go one two three four five get rid of that 
their thingy majigger, and then we're gonna get all of our troops out and about. Which side is a this side looks a little bit more unnerving, and I'm just gonna hold Kavan and hold Kavan and hold Kavan because I don't think we need him quite quite yet. And those boom mines in the middle make me a little bit nervous. The I'm gonna go about here because we've got some damage there, and hoping now that we can get all of these troops in, get Kavan to avoid all of those boom mines. I'm a little bit, lot bit nervous. Let's get some second wins happening, and now I just need to plan the best place for shocks. Let's get that going there. Okay, this is definitely going a little bit better, and you can see just how much easier it is when you have that extra troop health. The fact is, we are not getting hit, I mean, even if you hit three or four mines, it doesn't really, really matter because your troops just have so, so, so much health. So I think we're going to get that right-hand side engine room, we're going to get this left-hand side engine room, and then we can get another second wind. I think, there we go, second wind going to come in and save us. Those right-hand side um, bombardiers are going to get that shock launcher down, so we should be in good shape. Should be in decent shape anyways. Need that med kit we were just talking about on that right-hand side. Got it out in the absolute nick of time. It's going to be still close. I am not doing well on this attack. Not planning terribly, terribly well. But we should be very, very, very close. It just needs that right there shock. Come on. Come on, shock. Barely got it out before that boom cannon shot, which means that we should be safe. I think Kavan should be able to out heal as long as we get one more shot from our bombardier before the nope, boom cannon got us. We're done. It's it's frustrating this morning, folks. I'm going to retreat because Kavan is not going to die. He's out of the range of the boom cannon. Should have maybe flared to the left-hand side. Should have done a lot of things. These are where I lose all of my confidence, all of my stars. And uh, so that right there is the state of the game. Me playing it very poorly is what it comes down to, I think. This person's final bombardier is going to barely be able... They got one bombardier left. Like, they've lost all their troops. They have one bombardier left. And Jen P or Jenp, I assume that's a female, has spanked me. And I need to reevaluate my minefield. Look at that. I got nine mines untouched. So, likely need a new base. And I should have clued into the fact that I've got... By the way, shout out to Pete beating me there. Uh, Poing, I'm not sure if that's Mr. Poing or not, but need a new base. This is not going well, and it may be that I don't actually need a new base. I need to move forwards or backwards. So stuck in that uncomfortable spot where people with rocket launchers have caught up, and there's nothing ahead for me. Like forwards is so far away, so I'm feeling a little bit trapped at the moment. Probably my least exciting, least skillful, least good Warships video to date in 39 seasons. But you know what? We're going to throw it up there because maybe some of you are feeling the pinch as well. Um, not liking this at all. We're going to get rid of this. One, two, three, four. We're going to see where that... I think that laser probably still going to be alive. Yes, yes it is. And then we are going to come in with our dudes. I should have brought four boats of heavies, but I was too busy lamenting the fact that I absolutely suck at the moment. And so the failures just keep coming. This is going to be my last hit of the video. It is probably going to push me down into further depths of despair. But uh, I suppose it is what it is what it is. So just trying our darndest to that people have starting to put five mines together which makes sense because we're starting to see the fact that we need five mines to kill these bombardiers so des oh there we go thank you my second wind finally did something i've got some heavies coming in at the right spot kavan is heading towards a boom mine those left hand side heavies are the true true MVP at the moment. Let's throw a shock back here, trying to keep some of these troops alive, just so that we can get some semblance 
of decency on this hit. Kavon bringing out some heavies finally. There we go. We only got one heavy. I hate, hate, hate it when your second wind brings back all bombardiers. In theory, it's a good thing, but my goodness, when you see all bombardiers coming out, it is not a good time at all. We are not going to get any more second winds pumping out this attack. So, again, one more time, we're just attacking, not going well for us. And I need to sit down. I'm sorry. Quick note, I did something kind of cool on the weekend. I hacked my desk so that I can control it using my home automation. Um, and so I am standing right now trying to do good things for the reason of doing good things. I sit way too much. Um, don't ever release a video when I'm standing, and so I'm going to blame it on that as well. So, full, full, full video of just... Uh, this was an absolute ship show. There we go. There's the title. It came to me at the very end of the video. We lost so many stars this video. Just bleeding stars. Um, I'm going to regroup and or possibly... <laughs> Park, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmon. So, so sad. Peace.